So I'll just give you a quick look outside, guys. This place is absolutely frightening. Even the locals don't want to go in here. It is unreal. The door's open. It's just inviting me in, isn't it, really? So here we go, guys. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Hello, is anybody in here? It is in the middle of nowhere, guys, but I've never been in here before. It's one I've recently found. So you're basically walking in here with me. I'm not joking, I'm shit in here. I'm actually shit, I can't even see around the corner windows. I can't really go in that beam because there's too much stuff in here. But we'll go around here. I'm just going to push this door to a little bit if I can. Just so I know that if somebody comes in, I can hear it. But yeah, you're with me, guys. You're with me. You're my eyes and ears as well. So, you know, it's the first time. And never been in this place, and apparently, it's very active. I literally dropped on by somebody mentioning it. And I've actually managed to find it. It's not very well talked about because of the history. It's, it's meant to be really haunted and there's not a lot of people talk about it. Oh God, you always hate stairs that disappear. Hello? Can you hear music? Hello? Is there anybody in here now with me? Let me turn this around. Can you hear that guy? I can hear music, guys. This house is not near anything at all. Might be an aeroplane, actually. But I'm not liking this at all, guys. Is there anybody here in here with me that wants to communicate? Can he knock on something for me? I've not been here before, but you're more than welcome to communicate with me. I've come to see if the house is haunted or if there's anybody that resides here. Can you come forward and show yourself to me or talk to me? Yeah, it's an airplane, guys. Can you hear it now? It's really hot in here. Excuse me, flies going up my nose. It's got an uneasy feeling. I'm definitely not feeling right in here. It's hot. I've literally got my hoodie on, and nothing else. Well, I've got trousers on, obviously, but it is really hot. And it's heavy. I've got to got a headache already. If there's anybody here with me now, come forward, come and talk to me. You're more than welcome to. I'm not going to hurt or harm you. I just want to communicate with you. If you'd like to, you can slam one of the doors. I'm going to walk around the building that you're more than welcome to show me if you are here. I mean, you guys are there. I've done a lot with Julie. We've been out a lot together, and I've done a couple of loans, but it never gets it never gets easy, man. It really doesn't. And especially when I'm in a place where I've never been to been myself with anyone, and it's oh wow, that's a big room. I do. Oh, the roof's going in there. We'll have a look upstairs. You know, it's weird that. You're walking around these places, you don't even know if there's anybody in here. Could be somebody rough sleeping. Oh, that's a hog, eh? It's a shame. You know, you don't actually know if there's anybody sleeping in here or... But it is in the middle of nowhere. I think it's just a big... It's just... Oh, it's just a cupboard, guys. You know, you don't know if... Uh... 
like somebody in here. But if there are any spirits here, or if there is anybody in here, I don't mean any harm at all. No. Can you bang on something for me? Is that you tapping? Can you tap again for me? Can you bang on something for me? Or if you've got the energy to, you're more than welcome to slam a door. If there is any doors actually, I that one's rammed. That isn't a door, oh, there's that one there. Where my light's pointing now, can you slam that door for me? Or if you haven't got enough energy, can you move it slightly for me? I'm starting to sort of get the feeling someone's watching me and I don't know, there's that many ways that they can look. There's alcoves everywhere. There's three doors into this room alone. There's the stairs. And now it's starting to feel a bit edgy. I'll have a look upstairs. There's a hatch into that first room. I haven't been in this room. It's the first time I've seen a toilet in a downstairs room. There's a big hole down there somewhere. Very large cupboard. Yeah, it's got a really weird feel. A really funny feel to it. The door's still closed, I've not heard that move. Upstairs. God, look how scary that looks, guys. That is not nice. That really is not nice. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, time. I don't know why I'm pointing it out of my face because I cannot see it going upstairs now. So if something jumps out on me going upstairs, I am not going to see it. Hello? I can hear like I'm whining. A little sheep. Hello? I can hear a car in the distance. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Can he show yourself to me? Can he come forward and talk to me? I don't mean any disrespect or harm. If there is any spirits within this building, I've heard a lot about you. I'd like you to come forward and talk to me. It gets even spooky, doesn't it? Really does. Drop in the comments, guys. Would you come in here on your own? Would you do this? Well, there, that's. Why can't you get in there? I wonder why you can't actually get in there. I don't fancy crawling through there, guys, really. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a bit dusty here. Same with that one, that one's locked as well, why? Why were they locked off? It's a shame, it's got the original Victorian fireplaces as well. Weird. It's definitely got a really heavy feeling to it, really has, guys. And that, if you want a more spooky shot, then that is hitting my bucket list right there. If there is any spirits here with, us, here with me now, can you bang on something? Tap? 
can you walk up these stairs for me? The sheep, but I hear like a dog howling. But there's no, there's no houses near me, and I can't understand that. If there is any spirits here, I'll be using some devices shortly that you should be able to communicate with me through. You'd be more than welcome to. I'd love you to come and talk to me. I've literally come with nothing tonight, guys. I've literally heard about this place, grabbed my phone, grabbed the camera, and I've literally come with my phone and my speaker because I wanted to hit it. I've been wanting to do it alone for a while, and after Julie did a really good job at the Screaming House, I've had to do it. I've had to come out. Been work all day, but I just had to hit this place. I really have, and I'm glad I've come at the minute because I'll definitely get the necrophonics going uh, and we'll get the Vox going as well. Yeah, it's starting to feel funny. You, know, you can probably see me. I'm actually sweating. I am panicking. I'm a bit frightened. But it's got a really heavy feeling as well. You can see it. Look at my teeth. It's starting to really uh, heavy feeling. But yeah, I'm gonna get a neck of fun screen, definitely. If you're new to your channel, please subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And guys, don't forget to put your notification bells on to all, and then that way you don't miss anything. So yeah, I think I'll go downstairs and I'll start the neck of Definitely doesn't feel right in here. Um, feels a bit more edgy up upstairs, but that's a, I suppose that's a landing, isn't it? Let's just have a quick look down here. Even the rooms are massive. Oh, they're cool. That's cool. Oh, it's a clock. Tractor clock. Wow. I've not. I've had one tap. I've not had anything else interacting as yet. So, like I say, it's the first time. There's more stairs there. Oh, they're the ones that go down into the kitchen. You know, it's the first time. It's rumoured to be seriously haunted. And, and I've been told by quite a few people that they do not like coming in here. No one's been in. You can even see, there's no writing, the kids haven't been in, there's been no kids in or anything. There's no graffiti. No one wants to come in here because of what has been said about the place. It's not right. So, I'll bang his head on the door. I think I'll head downstairs, guys, and start the knack of forks. second guys I'm just gonna get my speaker ready connect my phone up and we'll hit it with some necro definitely and I'll try the Vox as well uh, go to your Vox quite getting into that after Julie used it at the screaming house I've had some good results off that um, don't forget guys as always I am sweating I'm absolutely dripping as always if you see or hear anything please drop it in the comments I love all your comments whether it's you know good bad I'll always answer you. So 
so please drop it in the comments below and also comment because it helps us grow as well so right i'll see you in a second we'll get this neck so right guys we'll get this uh necophonics going i can't get the speaker going for some reason which is weird so what i'll do i'll just get it on my phone hopefully the sound will be okay that's any trouble we call, call me mushing out and nothing um nothing prepared but i'll try the speaker <coughs> on my phone i'll turn it up a bit fingers crossed i'll keep it close to the microphone and hopefully you'll be able to hear it um so if there's any spirits here with us now i've got a device in my hand that you'll be able to communicate with me through oh in fact i know what i will do guys because i always do it we have to put our phones into flight mode so just to show you it's in flight mode guys i always do that then it debunks any obviously any input for the internet um which you know i'd rather prove i've got my phone on flight mode and there's no interference from the internet as you know i love this necophonics and i've had some amazing results over the, the year so if there are any spirits here with me now i'm going to use this device that you will be able to talk or maybe manipulate that you can get your story across your name your age or anything else you'd like to tell me so please come forward don't be afraid So if there is any spirits here with me now, can you tell me your name, please? I'll put it close to the mic, guys, because I'm on my phone. Need sleep. That sounded like normal. What the heck was that? If there's anybody with me here now, come and talk to me, please. Don't be afraid. The same. I'm listening. If there is anybody here, can you tell me your name, please? As always, guys, I'll probably hear a lot in the in the editing afterwards. Because, to be honest, I can't really hear a lot on this microphone on my phone for some reason. Come forward and show yourself to me. Come and talk to me. There it is. Is there quite a few of you in this building? Yeah. I've heard there is. I've heard there's quite a few of you and people are scared to come here. Why are they scared to come here? They hate you. That sounded like they hate us. Why do they hate you? Why, why do people hate you? Are they scared to come here because of you? Why are they scared to come here? Is it you that scares them? Do you scare them? Why do you scare them?
Why am I getting somebody saying mum? Is there somebody shouting for their mum? Are you shouting for your mum? You need to run. Why do I need to run? Can you tell me why I need to run? <coughs> Are you going to fight me? The necrophonics always seems to change the atmosphere very quickly as well. If this is something you'd like to see more of, guys, doing loan vigils, let me know, drop it in the comments. I'd appreciate it if you didn't, though. <laughs> So come forward, talk to me. You're not going to fight me. Well, you might do a little bit, but come and talk to me. Come and speak through this device to me. What the hell was that? That was a comment. I'm really struggling to hear, guys, but this camera will pick the sound up brilliantly, so I shall edit it and everything that... That was a big tap over there. Edit it and... Everything that... That was a big tap over there. What's up? Is that you just tapped in the corner? If you've just tapped and you've got enough energy, can you shut that door that's in front of me, please? Mind if that door shuts, I'm running. You can do something for me. What can you do for me? Man, I'm so fearful that somebody's standing by the door now. Can you do something significant for me, please? What I will do. I'll just stop this in a second. If there is any spirits here with me now, on top of this device I'm holding in my hand called a camera, it has an amazing microphone on it. It can maybe able to hear you. If you would like to say anything into it, it'd be amazing. If you could do that for me now, please. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me the year you died? Or how old you are? Thank you if you have answered me in the microphone, thank you very much. So I'm going to come upstairs, I'm going to try, I want to try a bit of a box as well. But I'm not, I'm not joking guys, I'm pretty on bloody edge to be honest. I'm going to come upstairs if you're upstairs, can you talk to me upstairs please? Said something, I don't know what the hell it said. I just wish I hadn't forgotten it. Thank you, Mark. Well, that's the trouble, guys. You run out of the house quick. You run out of the house quick, and because I wanted to do this after hearing about it, and it's an awesome place. This is well, not just because I'm on the but this place is pretty spooky to be honest. 
So if you're upstairs with me now, can you say something into it now, please? Here, you're here. You won't say that now, I'm at the top of the stairs. Oh God, see how active it's got now, guys. And I can't actually get in these rooms either. I don't even want to crawl through them all because I'm on my own. So if I'm a fool, I probably am actually. I don't actually want to crawl through them, guys, because if something happens, I'm on my own, so I've got to get out of them. Or if somebody comes, obviously, which I doubt it. As you can see, there's nothing, there's no graffiti, no one has been in here. They're too scared to, which is it's weird. But I want to know why. Why won't they come in here? Why won't people come in this building? Is that because of what happened? Can someone tell me what happened here, please? What did happen here? I'm definitely listening. Can somebody come forward and tell me what actually happened here? What's that there down below? I actually don't like these old either because I'm waiting for a net pot for you. If there is somebody here, can, can somebody tell... Someone tell me your name, please. I'm so interested to find out someone's name from this building, please. Guys, if you hear or see anything, let me know. Drop it in the comments for me. I'm going to change the device now, the app. I'm going to try the Vox, which is a different uh, app on the telephone. I'm going to see if you might be able to communicate with that with me. So I'll just hop it over, guys. I just want to try it. I'm, I'm getting quite into this Vox. I love the Necophonics, as you know. But I'm, I'm getting into this Vox. So we shall uh, see how this one goes. I just wish I hadn't forgotten my um, my speaker. So if there's anybody here with me now, can you tell me your name, please? Don't be shy. Don't be afraid, come forward. You're more than welcome to come forward and talk to me by all means. Don't be afraid, come forward please. Can you tell me your name please? Can you tell me how old you are? What the hell is that? Listening. Obviously with the ghost tube guys, I do have to put the internet on. Um, so I've just turned it on. So this is really a first for me using it. Julie used it the other night. So I want to see if anything relevant comes through. So if there is any spirits here with me now, can you use this device to manipulate some words to tell me your name please or could you tell me my name it's 
The gentleman that's talking, can you tell me your name, please? Can you tell me your name? I'm just going to go to night vision, guys. Just obviously different perception, different view. I'm going to do this and not be able to see the button on. Uh, there we go, guys. This is not nice now, guys. Oh, God, there's banister there. That's how I can't see. I'm listening. Can you come forward and tell me your name, please? What the hell is that? What the hell? Let me stop this. What the hell is that? Shut up a minute, what the hell is, guys, can you hear that moaning? Hello? I hope the sound's just picked that up. What the hell was that? I'm not joking, guys, I did not like that at all. Hello? I'm just going to pull that on so I can move down there a bit. Hello? There it is again. Can anybody hear like a moaning or a singing? <sighs> Guys, I'm really not liking this now. I always think the necrophonics always boost it up a bit. What the hell was that? in this building and they want to tell me your name. Come forward and tell me your name. Don't be afraid. Why should you be afraid of me? I should be more afraid of you. standing there guys. That actually looked like a figure then in the night vision. <sighs> shit me. Shit me, I just shit myself. I remember. You remember? What do you remember? Guys, the atmosphere was really cheap. Was that you? It's responding. It's responding? No way. No way, as I just said, I'm responding. That's what? You're responding to me. You may take it. I may take it. I may take it. You may take it. I may Gersh. take it. Thank you. I'm going to go in a minute. Do you want to tell me your name before I go? Just stop. I gave you. You've given it me. Have you given me your name already? Have you given me your name already? I'm going to go now. 
I've enjoyed my half an hour here. I might be back again because I still don't believe I've contacted a lot of you, maybe one person. I know. Maybe you will get to know me better next time with it being my first time here. Somebody's laughing. Are you toying with me? I think you're toying with me, aren't you? You are, aren't you? Right. I think it's time for me to go, guys. <coughs> I definitely feel... I'd say, how can I say? I definitely feel like something here. Um, I know it's scary on your own. You know, you've been on your own. I know it's frightening and scary, and I know it totally changes your perception of things. Obviously, you're on your own in a building all by yourself, and I know it changes things in your head mentally as well. So that I take into account. You know, um, I'm getting on, you know, nearly 50. I'm no young spring chicken, but I know when something's not right. And I'm starting to get that feeling. And I can hear that howling again and it's not right. It's hard to explain because there's nothing around here. There is a road not far away, but there's no buildings. There's nothing in it. Something's howling and it's... It's hard to explain. But I'm getting out of here, guys. It is time for me to go and I think we'll be back definitely to see if this place is can produce any more with the necros picked anything up I will have to check but we'll see how it goes because this place has got more to give a feel maybe more energy in here you know if me and Julie come Fancy it. Would you come here on your own at night? Because I have, so, and I've been daft enough. But fair dues to Julie, she did really well at Screaming House, so really proud of Julie for that. And because that was one of the most scariest places she's been to. A lot of people don't know what happened after the Screaming House. On the way home, Julie was crying and she was just crying in the car on the way home. We got home and she was not right all night. She would not leave my side. She would break down crying. We actually watched another channel's visit there and yeah, that started off again and it wasn't nice. Some of the things we do guys, the things we go through is not nice and it is, you know, the things we have to deal with is not good sometimes, but in the all, we love it and we're doing it for you guys, trying to bring you some good videos, if not to laugh at me crapping my pants. <laughs>